Howdy ho, my crafty friends. This is Lori at the Ladybug Journals. Welcome to my craft room today. Today, we are going to make, well, honestly, I'm not really sure what it's called, you guys. Um, when I learned how to make it a couple years ago, um, we called it Flippy Floppy Cards. Um, now, I, I don't know if it's still called that or not. Um, you know, because everybody always is changing the names of things and what they're called and how you use them. So I'm, I'm not really sure if that's what they're called now or not. So, um, so that's what we're calling them. We're calling them a flippy floppy card journal. <laughs> Cause I don't know if that's what they're called or not. Um, but we're going to be playing with our cards with a few cards out of a deck of cards and, um, and we're going to alter them. So, um, my cards originally... Now, where did it go? They they just came out of a deck. And, um, and they're funny. Uh, because the cards just said basic. That's what they said. They just said on the back basic. And they were just your basic deck of cards. Um, so, you're going to need seven of them. Okay? So, you're going to need seven cards... Uh, you're going to need either some gesso or some white paint, uh, you know, acrylic paint. Now, if you don't have gesso, um, cut yourself some white, um, you know, plain, um, hold on a minute. Let me get my brain back in my head, you guys. Uh, cut yourself a piece of um, watercolor paper in the size of your cards. Now, um, playing cards measure, if I remember right, a basic deck of playing cards measures two and a half by three and a half. So take a piece of watercolor paper and you need seven, seven little pieces that measure two and a half by three and a half. Okay. If you don't have gesso, just plain ordinary gesso. And I keep mine in this little Tupperware container, um, then, um, cut, cut the watercolor paper. Um, and you're going to need to, to get it prepped because we're going to do a lot of stuff to it. So, um, go over the, go over the watercolor paper with a really light watered down coat of, um, of white acrylic paint. Okay. Just water it down a little bit. Um, you don't want it so watery that it... Um, let's see, how can I describe it? You don't want it so watery that it, you know, that it destroys your paper. But you want it thin enough that it's going to coat the paper. Okay? Does, does that make sense to you guys? Um, you want it. You want it to just uh, kind of prepare your paper for everything else that we're going to put on it. And I'm trying to get stuff off my off my table here for for our work because I thought I had everything off until I sat down. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, if not, drop me a line and I'll and I'll and I'll try to post a picture of what it's going to look like. Okay. So you're going to need seven pieces that size. Two two and a half by three and a half. Okay. Then, after you've got those cut, um, you're also going to need to prepare or have um, to, to play with for this project. <laughs> I'm knocking stuff everywhere, you guys. Uh, to play with this project, uh, just some washi tape. Um, you know, you choose whatever it is that, you know, that you want to play with. Um, and these are the ones that, that I picked out. I've got a couple of, of washi tape stickers and, um, just, just different washi tapes that I picked. And I may not use these. I may, I may get some different ones. I'm sorry. That's my older boy. He's, he sees a neighbor golfing in between rain showers. I also got out a couple of, a little bit of my collage paper from Tim Holtz. And, um, I may have to stop and have him settle down. And I'm going to, you're also going to need some, um, cardstock. Now you don't want heavy, heavy duty cardstock. Okay. You want the thin, you want thin, probably about the, um, 
the weight of two pieces of um, copy paper. Like, can you hear this? Um, that's that's all the weight you want it to be. Um, or maybe even the, the weight of copy paper. You don't want it any heavier. Um, and I'm using, to put that on, just my um, PVA glue. Now, you could use a good glue stick. Um, if you wanted, you can use matte medium if you want. And I just pour a little bit in this little cup. Um, I would not use for this because this is going to go flipping and flopping around. I would not use um, a Yoohoo stick or this one. Um, these don't stick very well to these cards. I would use something a little, um, a little stickier. I would probably use um, your Scotch Create sticks. Either one of them is fine. I would use the wet glue like, um, like this one. Just a really thin coat of it. I would use um, the pH neutral one. Um, even your even your art glitter glue would work. Just a real thin coat. Um, once you've got the uh, gesso on here, okay. So now that you've got your papers cut, and hold on to your your scraps because we're gonna use those for um, you know for side side tucks and pockets and all that. So hold on to those. And you might want to pull you out a second piece. Um, and you're also going to need, um, you know, a brush. And, and don't make it your good watercolor brush or your good acrylic brush. Because we're going to be using it to spread our glue. Um, so, you know, make sure it's something that you don't mind that gets a little schmucky. Um, but we are going to make sure it gets cleaned off. You know, so it will. we will make sure it gets cleaned off. Um, and as far as cleaning off your brushes... Um, if you don't have a good brush cleaner and you want something that cleans your brush as well, I highly recommend ivory soap. Um, it's just that it's soap. Um, and that's what I've used for years and it keeps my brushes nice and soft and it keeps them clean. And it also gets most things off of my hands from my craft room. So, um, if you don't have a good brush cleaner, um, or a good hand cleaner, that works very well. Okay, so let's get started. So I have put the gesso on all of my cards, and it doesn't take a lot. As you can see, you can still see through everything, and these two have actually stuck together, and that's okay. Um, you can still see through it. Um, it's just giving it a little bit of um, texture, you know, so it's just giving them a little bit of texture. They're no longer slick. Um, now you could also, if you don't have gesso and you don't have watercolor paper, take a piece of, um, of sandpaper and just sand off the slick, you know, because they have that really slick coating, just sand it off both sides and then make sure you take a, um, a piece of um, damp paper cloth or one of those um, anti-static cloths and wipe all of that off. Make sure you get it completely off, both sides. Not just the one side, not just the pretty picture side, but both sides. You wanna make sure it's off of both sides because your card needs to be clean when we start gluing things down. Okay, so let's get this, let's get this off of here or turned over or something. Ah, that side will work. And let's get these down. Now you need to decide which card you want up front? Okay. Well, I want my ace up front. Now, put your cards in order the way that you want them. And I decided I want to go like this. And then I want to go up. Oh, the neighbor's out messing around again. And then I want to go number. Yeah, I'm a little anal about this, you guys. And like this. Now, it doesn't really matter the way I do them because one card, the back of it, the back of my card isn't going to be decorated because it's going to be glued down to a page. This is going to be a pullout in your book, okay? Now, if you don't want it to be a pullout, you want to tuck it into a pocket. Um, 
we're also going to be making a pocket in a future video to put one of these in. And let me show you what they look like um, not uh, tucked into a pocket. Um, I've made a couple of them before. This is what they don't look like in a pocket. Now this one here, this is what it looks like if you don't get it glued in right. This is what happens. I didn't use the proper glue and it came apart. Okay, but this is this is what they look like. It's got an altered paper clip. It's got all kinds of little things in it. You know, you can't really put a lot in them. But they're just fun to make. This one, however, has stayed together. This one was so fun to make. It's got some papers in it. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> this is the front of it. And I just sewed the front of it to keep everything on the front. It's got, it's just a little tiny journal. And um, this one here, I've drawn in it. It's just got a card in it. This is just a little teeny tiny journal that I can stick inside a pocket in my, um, into my bigger journal. And it's got a little B on it. And I can take that little B and put it under there like that. So this one is the type that we're making today, and since I've got it out, I'm going to glue it down. Okay? Okay. This one here was made with, um, I think this one was made with cards, maybe? Yeah, this one was made with cards, but I didn't get it glued down properly here. So you can see the just a little bit of the glue. I didn't get it glued down properly, and it popped out of the spine. That's where the other two cards are. I didn't get it glued down properly. So I'm going to have to re-glue it and put it back together. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. So you're going to decide the order that you want your cards. Now, it really isn't going to matter a whole lot, because we're going to be covering them up and decorating them. Okay. So, now, when you lay them down, you want to put them so they're really, really close together. You know how when we make a book, we leave just like an eighth of an inch? Um, an eighth of an inch between them? Well, that's kind of what we're doing here. Because they're going to flip back and forth. So... I'm just kind of scooting them close together in the order that I want them or the order that I think I want them. Okay? Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a washi tape to hold them down. And you want to use a washi tape that's sticky. And remember I told you I knocked it. Everything on the floor. Oh, darn it. I think that was one of the things I knocked on the floor. So I need to get another one out of my box here. So let me grab it. Let's get another one. Now, the washi tape that you use, you don't want to use a thin one. So let me show you what I mean. Let me show you the difference in them. You don't want to use a real skinny one like this. You don't want it to be real thin like this because it has to span two cards. See, that's not wide enough to span two cards. So you need something that's a little thicker. And don't use your prettiest tape, okay? Use one that's, yeah, it's kind of sort of okay. You like it, but it, maybe it's not your favorite um, because you're going to cover it up. Okay, this one, this one's not my favorite, but... It's still not quite wide enough. So I'm going to pick out a wider one. Which I think is going to be this one. And when I sit it down, yep, that's wide enough. And it's okay if it's not the stickiest tape in your box. 
because we have to glue them anyhow. Okay, we got to glue them anyhow. And let me make sure that that's the, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, my, I think my allergies are really, really starting. I'm thinking either that red one or this blue one. I'm thinking maybe this blue one. This blue one might work better. Oh, wait. Since I'm using that paper, this blue might show through too much. I'm looking maybe for a more neutral one. Let's see if this... This green might work better. Where's that paper? That paper's kind of brown. Ah, this one might work better. Hmm. You know, some of these always look like they have so much on them until you actually look at them. <clears throat> All right, we'll leave them out, and we'll use what we use. Okay. All right, this is really sticky, but I'm going to use... I'm going to use this glue stick on the back of it. And even if this does show through a little bit, it should be okay. Okay, so to, to glue these down, you measure like this. Here, I'll go to the middle here so you can see me better. You want double the length because you're going to wrap it around the edge. Actually, not double, but you want to be able to go around the edge. So I'm going to go up to that butterfly and down to this butterfly. So I'm going to tear it off, and I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to run it right across the top of my glue, like this, because I want to make sure I get glue. Come on, get back over there. Just like that. And I'm going to start right here in the middle. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm putting it right here on this jack. And then I'm going to pick up this nine. And I'm going to lay it down so that it's almost touching. Can you see how close this is? It's got to be able to move. Just like that. My goal is to get it even, which I can never do with washi tape. Get over there. There we go. Okay. Right there. Now you bring it over the top and then you lay it down and then you lay this side down. Okay, now your next piece you're just going to go across there. So my next piece doesn't need to be that long. It needs to be about that butterfly. Now, you don't have to start in the middle if you don't want to. You can start on an end. But for me, it's just easier to start in the middle. That's where I like to start. And then I go right here. And I cover those up. Just like that. Just like that. Okay? 
And then I'm going to flip that back over. And I'm going to bend it front and back. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that it can bend. Okay, I'm good. Now I'm going to start on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Oops. And I'm going to continue doing that until I get these attached. Now the one I don't have to attach, of course, is there at the end. You know, you only have to attach it to the one. Okay, let me scoot that one out of the way. Let's get this one attached here. So again, I'm just attaching it to the front and then I'm flipping it over. Just like this. I'm making sure it's down. And then I'm turning this one over. And then I'm laying it down. And there is just like maybe one of my hairs between them. Just like that. And then I'm going to take these ends, flip them over. Just like that. Now, if you do that, and then when you pick it up, you know, to do this, and you say, oh, no, it won't bend, and you take that off to fix it, and it pulls off some of your washi, it's no big deal. Just put some more washi on it. I mean, put some more gesso on it. It's not going to hurt it. it it's not going to hurt anything. All you got to do is put some more on it and wait a minute for it to dry. That's It's no big deal. Um, if it tears your... Oh, good heavens. If it tears your watercolor paper, um, all you have to do is um, put a little bit of paint on it, and it'll take care of it. Okay, here. We're going to close our door. Because apparently he is not going to stop barking. Hold on a second. Let me close this door, guys. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do this side, and we're going to do the same thing. Oops, I think I tore it. Okay, so um, you guys have seen me do it, so I am going to pause the video, and I'll be right back after I get all these attached, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so all the washi tape is on. Oh, that's not the cap. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is, and I wanted to show you, everything bends. This is the way it's going to bend. It's going to bend like that. Oh, see, this little piece back here needs to fold down. Now, you can fold them down or you can cut them off. This is the piece I don't want to decorate because it's going to glue down like that. Oops, my finger came off of it. And it's going to pull out in my book like that. Okay. So now we need to decorate the pages. So, I have some of them cut. I want to show you how I cut them. So what I did was I took some paper and it's actually just scrap paper. You need to make sure your washi tape is down. I see a little bubble there. And you can use your um, you can use your bone folder, you can just use your finger, whatever, whatever you have handy is fine. But you would do want to make sure it's down everywhere. Okay. So now we have the fronts and the backs to cover. So this is my front. This The ace is my front. So do I want a butterfly on the front? These are some of the pages that I've already cut. Or do I want something else? This was the other page that I pulled out. 
or do I want something from this? And it goes with this. Or do I want to cut something from this uh, to go with it? Um, I think I chose the butterfly for my front. So I cut these by doing, I took one of the cards that I didn't paint on, you know, that I didn't put the gesso on, and I laid it, I picked the area of the paper that I wanted, and I laid it on the paper. Let me move this so I can show you what I did. I laid it on my paper like this. It was easy peasy. And then I just took my pencil and I just drew around it like that. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I need 13 pieces of paper. But I'm also going to use some of this and some book page. But, you know, to be careful, I don't want some of this to show on all of it. Um, that was why I said, you know, keep your scraps. I don't mind him showing on some of it. But I don't want him showing on all of it. Like, I don't mind him and I don't mind her. Um, the place that's going to, see, I'm going to put an X back here because that's the part that's going to glue down. But I do want all of those covered, everything back there. I want all of that covered. I want, I want it covered completely. But up here, I don't mind these face cards. I don't mind some of those being used with the scraps. You know, some of the scraps and some of this. A collage paper. I like the collage paper. So, what I was thinking I would do was, after I cut out some of these, and I just, like I said, I just took these and I lined them up here. And they were real quick even to cut out. Because, you know, it was a straight line. I just lined them up like this and then I cut it out in a straight line. So then after I got a couple of them done, I set it like this and I just ended up drawing a straight line across. So I knew I could just cut a straight line across like this. Of course, you all know me, none of my straight lines are straight. When, see? <laughs> When my mom was alive, we used to tell her she walked like a weeble. You know, when she walked, she went back and forth and back and forth. And um, I was recently at the doctor, you know, just for my annual physical. And um, he said, um, he said the same thing to me. And I said, well, like mother, like daughter. So, see, you can see I didn't draw a straight line. So I'm just going to cut on the line that that I know isn't straight. That's okay. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'm not worried about it. Oh, goodness. And then I just went through and I cut them like this. So I know I have these little scraps. And I know I have some of these. And if they're too tall or something, I'll trim them after I get them on. So I know I want this for the front. I know I want that for the front. But then for the back, what do I want back here? I think I wanted... Where's the one I cut? For the back. I want this one for the back. Right there. 
And then for this part, I want this one. See, and I know they're too big because you have to remember that fold's there and you can't get anything in your fold. So the next part is just kind of lay them out how you want them. So I alternate these patterns. And since I know I want all these covered, I want, oops, that's not the one. I know not to cover that one. I want this one back here, this flower, because it matches this flower. There, that's how I want those across the back, like that. So when I'm ready to put the back on, that's the order that I'm going to have them. So I lay mine like this. Now you can, of course, lay yours any way you want to keep yourself organized. And then up front, I want that one. And then I want this one. And I want that one. Now, how am I going to do, how am I going to do the other pieces? Okay, well, to do this, I want to go on and do it because it's going to have to dry before I can do anything else. So, let's get some of this on. So, let's pull these off. And decide where we want this. And I know I want some of this book page laying out here. Okay, oh, it's upside down. All right, and I have this book page that I cut, that I cut stencils through. I wanted to use it on a piece of it. And I know that this is gonna show through but I want to use it right in here. I want to use this right in here. And it's still going to show through, but I need to tear it down. So let me fold this up so I know how big I need to make it. Okay. And I might need to. Let's see, what's back here? Here, let's start back here on our queen. We'll give her the flowers. Let's give their queen the flowers. Okay. There we go. So we know we need to tear this piece off right up through here. Let's get our ruler and see if that helps. Let's see if this helps us tear. Oh, that's better. Okay. Oh, how wide do we need it on the other side? Have you guys got to play in your journals the last couple of days? Have you had nice weather? We had a beautiful day this week. Just beautiful. It was in the 70s. Oh, there we go. That'll fit. Now, what doesn't fit, I can come in and cut off after it dries a little bit. There we go. I think that'll work. Now, oh, and she'll show through there just fine. Yes, she will. She will show through there just fine. Okay, now, let's get our, where did it go? Here, we're going to use, we're going to use this. Now, where did my brush go? 
Okay, you guys, I've lost my brush. I haven't left the table and I've lost the brush. That's not the brush. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. Let's put the... Yeah, it doesn't take a lot. I know you guys have seen me use this stuff before. Okay. And we're going to put this down. Now this this stuff dries clear. Now I, I know that I can't fold this up. You know, after I put this on, it has to, you know, stay open. There we go. Okay, there's one page. See, and you can still see her a little bit. So we're going to open it up. Did I put that on upside down? Oh, no, I think I did. Because this... <laughs> I did, you guys. Well, darn. Well, guess what? We're switching it around. The queen is now our front piece. So, let's see. Oh, my gracious. Good heavens. Okay, so this is now the back. <sighs> okay, so this one's got the double X's. Oh, that's aggravating. Okay. So, my little fussy cuts will go down here in a minute. I've got some other little fussy cuts I wanted to put down. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. Oh gracious sakes. Okay, these are all my little Sizzix cuts and I have a little butterfly I wanted to put up there. Now let's see if I can get some on here for it. I don't know if this is going to work or not, you guys. Let's put this up like this. Let's put that up like that. There we go. That'll work. Whoops, my finger stuck to it. Yeah, don't, don't get your finger on it while it's wet. Yeah, it dries quick, so don't, don't get your finger on it. Okay, that one's done. <laughs> Definitely don't get your finger on it. All right, this little page here, um, I wanted to get some color on, but I already have... I did these yesterday um, with my uh, Lindy's shaker. So I want to add, I want to add this. Let's see, do I want these over here? This is a little too green, I think. A little too teal. So maybe we won't. Okay, see that one closes. So on this, yeah, we can still put this. We can still put the butterfly up there. Good. Okay. So hold on a second. Okay. I wrote on the front cover. 
So I'm going to put that right there so I don't do it wrong again. All right, so what are we going to do on our king? I think on our king, I think over here we're going to do this. Now, let me get out the book page that we had. Let's, let's get this put over here so I don't knock it on the floor. I'm going to put that right there. And let's see what colors are in there. Green and browns. I've got some paper right here I wanted to use. Let me get a hold of them. Okay, let's see. I don't know if this green, it's a textured green, but I don't know if it's going to go with this. Kind of. It goes with the lighter green there. It's a handmade paper, and it's, it's really thick. Um, I just want a little piece of it, and I want a piece of our book page, but I must have knocked it on the floor, too. Good heavens, I knocked everything on the floor, you guys. All right, let's move our watch. There it is. I found it. Let's move our watch, you too. I found them. Here they are. There's that one. And here's the other one. Here they are. Okay. I knew I got them out. Okay, this is the one I wanted. Okay, I don't want this edge on it, though. I just want a piece of it. I don't want that edge. But I just want a little piece of this. Ooh, this is old. It just peels. It just peels. This might be too big. I think it is. This might work. Now, I think you kind of get the idea of what you do on these. You can, <clears throat> you can kind of just create little collages. You can put pockets. You can just put little stickers. But the thing you need to remember is right here in the middle, where it bends, right here, that's what you can't, yeah, you can't put anything there. And if you're going to cover them, now's the time to cover them. Okay. So let's see here. Do we want to put that there or do we want to put just this here? I think I like just the collage myself. I think I like that maybe with maybe with a piece of this because I like this. Maybe with this. Let's make sure that's not okay, it needs to scoot over a little bit make sure we're not getting okay this needs to go to the bottom okay now I did get out our labels and I did get out our stickers that I wanted to use so let me get our labels here they're sitting right here on the chair labels right here yeah, I'm using the chair as an extra, as an extra table. Okay, let's see. That's got some orange in it. And the um, butterflies have some yellow. But that's kind of a label right there, isn't it? So maybe not a label. Maybe not. Maybe just a, maybe just another, maybe just a sticker. Maybe just a sticker. 
Let's see here. Yeah, these you can kind of get lost in. Just decorating and having some fun. Yeah, maybe let's put the tulip there. And you kind of have to wait for one side to dry before you can do the other side. All right. Let's get our let's get our little baby pokey tool here and put this under here so it doesn't catch. While we there we go. While we glue this stuff down. Okay. Now, I will tell you, if you're going to add pockets or things like that, in the middle is the best place to put them. Um, in the middle or on the front. Okay, let's put that up there. That second, the second card is not usually a good place to put them. It doesn't fold very well. Okay, let's see if we can get that thick enough there that we'll hold that other page. Yeah, this, this handmade paper is hard to get to stick down. So let's see if we can get it stuck. Let's see if we can get it to stick. There we go. Maybe. Okay, let's put our book page down. Ah, I should have inked that, huh? Yeah, that would have looked good. Okay, now let's put our little sticker down. Here we go. Right there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you guys get the idea. I'm not going to make you sit through this whole thing with me. So you guys get the idea of what to do on this. So I'm going to finish decorating mine. And we'll do a part two of um, attaching it to a book page. And I'll show you guys how to do that. And... um and what it looks like completely finished and adding the pages to the back um, after all of this on the front is dry. So if you liked the, today's video and you enjoyed it and you would like to see more things like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, that way I know what kind of videos that you like and uh, we can continue putting them out here at the Ladybug Journals for you. Oh, this one would be fun right here, wouldn't it? Um, so don't forget, you know how to do it. You know where those buttons are. Yep. I know you do. You know exactly where they are. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the Ladybug Journals. You know where they are and you know how to do it. And, um, that'll tell me that exactly what you like, what you like and what you want to see. And, um, and then we can get them out for you. So, until I see you again in our next video, ta-ta for now!